everyone today we are going to learn some reagents that are used in organic reactions right so let's get started our first reagent is potassium dichromate in acidic solution so this is the formula of potassium dichromate and it will be used in acidic situation right this is the symbol of acid so what is uh, the use of potassium dichromate here uh, well alcohol if we use potassium dichromate then alcohol is oxidized to carbonyl compound like uh, aldehyde ketone right so here is the example this is one degree alcohol and if we uh, oxidize this alcohol by potassium dichromate in acidic medium then uh, we'll get aldehyde right and if we oxidize oxidize second two degree alcohol then we'll get ketone right these are carbonyl compound aldehyde and ketone are carbonyl compound right and again if we oxidize this uh, aldehyde right this is alkanal as you know alkanal methanal uh, ethanal propanal well so if we oxidize uh, aldehyde uh, with this reagent then we'll get carboxylic acid right this is carboxylic acid like methanoic acid ethanoic acid propanoic acid right so at first uh, alcohol uh, is oxidized to carbonyl compound like aldehyde ketone and then to acids and uh, here is the aldehyde and then to acid right well our uh, second reagent is potassium permanganate right potassium permanganate so what is the use uh, potassium parman permanganate can be used in two situation one is acetic medium and the second one is alkaline medium right yeah so what is the use of potassium permanganate well uh, oxidation for aromatic side chain you know that this is toluene right and if we add potassium permanganate uh, in acidic solution then we'll get benzoic acid this is the side chain of aromatic uh, compound and potassium permanganate in alkaline solution right what will be the use uh, in alkali alkaline solution potassium permanganate will be used to detect unsaturation right so here is the uh, here is unsaturated compound that is alkene uh, if we add potassium permanganate in basic medium then we will get diol right so Oh, diol okay that's okay our third reagent is bromine solution bromine in carbon tetrachloride it is also used to test unsaturation here this is alkene which is a unsaturated compound if you add a bromine in carbon tetrachloride then you will get dibromoalkene and uh, we know that the color of bromine will be changed and thus we can detect the uh, unsaturation properties of alkene well our third reagent is ozone uh, well ozone is used to determine determination of carbon carbon double bond right well this is alkene and if you add ozone here then you will get methanol and uh, you will get this compound this is alkanal and methanol so by the position of oxygen you can easily detect the position of 
double bond here is a, another example you can see well this is alkanal and this is ethanol well our five our number five reagent is manganese dioxide or chromyl of chromyl chloride right and it is used uh, for oxidation of aromatic sites and right this is toluene so mangan if we add manganese dioxide then we will get benzaldehyde that is mild oxidation and water so thank you for viewing this video be well